here, Rover. I've sent the coordinates of that CSC research facility to your terminal. Now that we're in the same boat, let me fill you in on what we're getting into before we dive in. The Corda Sabante is a mysterious scientific research organization. They're best known for their research in automata mechanics. But what really put them on the map isn't that. It's all the bizarre experiments they did. What's with the psychedelic black light coming from Morning Ix's mire? And is that freaky ring in the waters really the lake monster's doing? One day, a daring young scientist soared into the sky and never returned. Could this be the beginning of another diabolical plot? Alto, why are you telling bedtime stories now? Is it time to sleep already? Ahem, <clears throat> my bad. Old habits die hard. But the big part is coming right up. One day, out of the blue, every single Corte Savante member vanished. The last words from that mysterious researcher, the Corte Savante Committee's chairman, was this. Ahem. You want my research? You can have it! I left everything I gathered in the Corte Savante's labs. Now, you'll just have to find it. What do you think, Rover? Aren't you curious? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you'd be into this like I am. But stories aside, we do have an important mission on our hands. I suppose the Magistrate Jinjo has already told you what we do? We've set up resonance beacons worldwide to monitor the lament, collecting data in real time. This is how we predict when the next lament is happening. As the saying goes, one miss is as good as a mile. Every single one of those resonance beacons is crucial. After the Corte Savante researchers disappeared, all of our resonance beacons near their facilities were damaged to varying degrees. Recently, something went wrong with our lament detection system, and we suspected it had something to do with a damaged beacon around the area. That's why we've been sent here, to investigate the case. While our main goal is to retrieve the lost resonance beacons, we also might find some treasures. Alto, even Encore can tell what you're up to. It's called seize the opportunity while I can. <laughs> you're just too young to get it. Come on, let's go. Is my TD detector working? How come it didn't warn us of so many tacit discords ahead? Cause they all just appeared out of nowhere. That's weird. Anyway, let's deal with them, shall we?
This is the place. Ugh. Those savants really love their puzzles. D <laughs> no wonder folks never managed to get inside after all these years. Their security is top notch. That's because Alto set off the security alarm, and now the gate's closed. Ugh. Ahem. <laughs> anyway, we've got to figure out how to open it up again. This is... Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Those crazy savants. They were trying to recreate the Retroact Reign. Never thought they could pull off something like this. Incredible. The Retroact Rain is essentially a form of condensed remnant energy from the Etheric Sea. Various events across space and time from every dimension are recorded in the form of remnant energy. The Retroact Rain conjures illusions of past events for those exposed to it. That rain curtain we saw earlier was probably the result of their experiments. Before the Retroact Rain forms, it goes through three stages. In the first stage, it looks just like any regular rain. And what we're seeing now should be the second stage. Water droplets floating in midair, being absolutely still. I've heard of plenty independent studies on the Retroact Rain. Most of the researchers were driven by their obsessions, while some wanted to relive a particular experience, and others yearned to reunite with their loved ones. But <laughs> look at all these devices here! The sheer scale of this research is really something. Really makes one wonder. What on earth were they trying to bring back with such a massive retroact rain? The power system here might still work. Let's split up and find it. Hooray! Willie's right away! Crystal potion, glass barometer, instant noodles, packet of nuts. Hmm, nothing too fancy. Go! Oh, wow! A game card that went out of sale decades ago! <laughs> Lucky me. Hey, Rover! How's it going on your end? Found anything good? I've collected some things, but not much. It didn't take us long to solve that puzzle mechanic. Uh, thanks to your help. Oh? Do you happen to know someone from the Court of Savante? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to making more deals with you.
experiments have been going smoothly, but we still can't get the desired outcome. Why? The artificial retroactive rain project has advanced to its second phase. We have various evidence that this ancient civilization was the whining Aix's Maya at some point. We believed we could recreate that divine miracle with the artificial retroact rain. Have we been mistaken? We have no time left. The artificial controllable tacit field should be complete by now. We'll have to rely on our backup plan. That Fraxidus overseer has been really generous with his sponsorship. It would have taken us much longer to build this place without him. Though he loves to meddle with our experiments a bit too much. Well, he's our patron. Can't do anything about that. This lab's location is a bit too remote for me. But I'm okay with it, as long as we can keep doing our research. Yeah. Where else could us maniacs possibly go? The committee kicked us out like trash. They'll never understand. As Professor Heisen stated, we are embarking on a monumental endeavor with the power to redefine humanity's future. This time, we will make the divine miracle we saw happen again for all of humanity to behold. One with the sounds. How's subject A038 doing lately? It has yet to assume a concrete form or exhibit vocalization behavior. In most cases, it remains motionless. However, we notice some behavioral discrepancies from our initial expectations, and further observation and research would be necessary. It's merely a replica, after all. It's far from the true form of those gods. By the way, things have been mysteriously disappearing lately. Any idea? You notice it too. Thought I was imagining things. And there's weird noises at the lab late at night. I suspect it has something to do with subject A038. Lately, its frequencies have always displayed signs of hunger. But it's been under strict surveillance. That couldn't possibly be A038. Right? I'll go check the security cameras once more. Let's increase its rations. We can't afford to let it go hungry. After all, it's our last hope now.
Now, this is the last room. Ow! Of course. Strike from the shadows. Evils be gone. Clarity. Guide my blade. Upswing. Hmm, this is a nice find. It's getting closer. These will be my final words. <laughs> if only I had more. I thought my enemies were misconceptions, waning passion, and my own ignorance. Only in the end did I realize time is my ultimate foe. I became blindsided by my fear of death and insatiable thirst for truth, eventually derailing our research. It was too late when I finally came back to my senses. We... we had already walked into that false gate. Now, I'm leaving my last realization behind. They are our past, but they are also our future. Had I realized it sooner, there might have been a chance to get things back on track. The future being hailing from our past. Please save us once again. Please keep pushing forward until you reach the real gate that can change the world. Wow! She's so pretty! Rover, about this person. <laughs> Knew it. Great! Now that power's been restored, the elevator should work. The beacon signal is coming from below. Let's go. Damn! 
Those savants never run out of new surprises for us. The signal's coming from it. Did it swallow our resonance beacon? Looks like peace is a promotion. Guys, brace yourself. We'll need to take it down. Alto, we doing it like we usually do? Of course. <laughs> then this big guy is encores to tackle. Cosmos, Cloudy, attack! Let me figure out its weakness. I see. It's cobbled together from these metal parts. We should target its joints. Use the fallen parts to counter its attacks and destroy its unstable structure. Swift and resolute. Moment of resonance. No hesitation. Leave? Me? All alone! more. Job done. <laughs> Anka is strong. Told ya. But why did they keep that big guy here? According to our findings earlier, researchers who worked here were probably only a small faction of the Corda Savante Committee. They were likely studying an ancient civilization they deemed to be divine beings. The later got denounced from the CSC due to their extreme methods. Somehow, they believed this ancient civilization had once visited the mire, which led to their attempts at recreating those past events with artificial retroact rain. And when they failed to recreate the retroact rain, they resorted to making a replica of the lost civilization instead. To get their desired results faster, they started feeding this replica various frequencies, data sets, and mechanical constructs. <laughs> and we've seen what that ended up with. It turned into a monster, driven by the frequencies of hunger, devouring everything in its path. It was probably the culprit behind the disappearance of those folks. And I suspect, the Fraxidus Overseer mentioned in that log may have something to do with it all. Those researchers, they were too obsessed with validating the divine miracle they experienced. They eventually got lured into the monster's frequencies of hunger and willingly walked into its maw. The monster devoured them, but not with its teeth. Their own delusions and fear were their undoing in the end. Hm. <laughs> what a crazy bunch. So, Rover, now it's time for me to fulfill my promise. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? All right, all right, no more beating around the bush. Yeah, we've had our eyes on you. But please, trust me, we don't mean anything bad. We just wanted to make sure you're a dependable ally. The Black Shores members all work together to save the world from the Lament Crisis. We've got talents from all walks of life. 
including skilled hackers, explosive experts, and even feng shui masters. You name it, we have it. We like your skills and methods. So what do you say? Ready to jump on board? Camellia? Of course we do! Yeah, she can be kinda unhinged, but she's indeed one of ours. Just so you know, she only took up this mission because of you. Quite the charmer, aren't you? So you've met her already? Nice! Save me some time introducing. As you already know, we monitor and research the Lament, and we've got Resonance Beacons set up in every nation worldwide. The island our headquarters are built on is in fact a massive piece of Tacitite ore, which powers our various energy intensive operations. This Blake Bloom is a product of that overflowing energy on the island. Our island is located in the perfect spot to accurately monitor the Lament, ensuring precise predictions. That being said, the Lament's behavior is constantly changing, and we are still studying to understand its true nature. All we could do for now is observe the Lament, study its patterns, and provide early warnings to countries worldwide. We just received a warning from our Lament detection system. Another Thronodian is about to revive near Jinjo City. So, we came here to inform Jinjo's magistrate about it. Yes. Entire countries have been destroyed. We're not letting such tragedies happen again. I'm just an insignificant consultant at the Black Shores, so I don't know that much about all its hidden secrets. But I believe the piece of intel I'm about to share with you will make this trip worth your effort. This is not the first time you've been reawakened. Last time, you woke up at the Black Shores. Rover, we share the same goal. We're both aiming to fight against the Thernodians and prevent the Lament Crisis. Yep! Onkar can prove it! The Thernodian is a bad, bad guy! And Onkar and Alto are the heroes of justice! So we're gonna stop the bad guys! I understand. Trust isn't something you could afford to give out that easily. Remember the Blake Bloom I gave you earlier? It's more than just a symbol. It also holds the key to our headquarters. I'm sure it'll come in handy for you. Phew! Anyway, mission accomplished! We've got the Resonance Beacon secured, plus a sweet bonus of Corda Savante's big secrets. Glad I got you on board, Rover. Looking forward to our future collaborations. Oops, almost forgot. Gotta check the Resonance Beacon again, just in case. Wait, this is... No! It can't be!